and I'm back on the syndicate two weeks after the last time I was on because it didn't, didn't go to plan last time I said I was going to stay with us then the last week when I went I was, I was booked on so I got there I was doing Wednesday, Thursday wasn't I I think or Tuesday, Wednesday Wednesday, Thursday I'm pretty sure yeah well, got there got set up and everything I settled down started spawning didn't the first night could hear them all night at it and in the morning they were still at it I bought my rods in in the night anyway about 1-2 in the morning I was just getting constant liners because I was chasing it over about so that put pay to that so last week I got well, I got one night in sort of and then check, checking on the page the stop the next day they stopped it went a bit cooler but they're still keeping it closed because it's going to start again it's warm again now it's been really nice today so no doubt they will start again soon so they're keeping it shut now probably to the 8th of June so so I'm about another and they're not spawning on here and I'm in a different peg I'm in a peg I haven't fished before because I thought it was going to be rammed today because up to today, it was all drawn, you know what I mean? You put your name down because I knew it'd be busy. And now it's back to normal, now it's just first come, first served. From 12 o'clock today it was. So I thought, it's going to be full. I got here about a quarter to 12. And they're doing that many on. The fire bank, which is north, of the south bank, which is where most of the fish have been coming out of over the weekend, that's full. There's five people on that side, that was here when I got here. So I'm on the north bank. Where I fished before, where I was last time. But last time I was further up that way, to my left. Where I was on centre stage one, I centre stage right. Well, I'm actually in the gate this time. Because I was thinking about Reedy, because that's free. But as, we, as you come through the gates as you come on the lake, I, part, I always park their fish just have a little quick look. And in front of here, I don't know, there's about 20 or 30 fish all in front of this peg. So that sort of made me mine up straight away. And it was close in and all. <coughs> and there was a bit of, big, a couple of big commons. So this is where I am. I'm settled in, the rods are out. No one's had anything yet, but it's still too warm. I don't think they'll be feeding yet. So I'll take you outside and show you <coughs> this peg. Here I go with a coughing. Look, don't cough. I've been coughing all day. So I want to do a bit to the camera. <laughs> right, I shall take you outside in a minute and show you the peg and <coughs> <coughs> where I've got them. I could show you. I could show you now. No, I'll show you later anyway. Now it's got to turn it round, then. So I'll catch you in a minute. Just hang about. Right, hello. We're outside. I will just show you the lake, and you can see where I am. This is the uh, gate swim. It's a swim when they were fished. Usually, I'm further down. further down there about halfway down that's where the centre stages are but here is where the gate is where you come in which is just there and there's the lake hey, hey. and here's my fate yeah A oh, fish called Frances Chest Francesca. I don't know. Come out at the weekend, Francesca. 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 Okay. Girl's name anyway. Well, come out at forty-four pound. So the big girls are coming out now. I'm, they won't be far off spawning. I shouldn't think. 
still loads of tadpoles in the margins. Well, I'll turn it round and I'll show you where I got my baits and then that'll be it. I'm going to get something to eat, have a couple of beers. Might get me cheer up the top, see if I can get a bit of sun. Oh, it's nice here now in the shade, it's a lot cooler to what when I got here. But I'll turn it around, I'll show you where I got my baits and then that'll be it and I'll catch you later. Just wait one. I'm back. Right, your middle rod, if you look straight out in front. The tree there was sticking up, it's just shy of that, it's probably about that far out about there. My left hand rod is not so far out, it's about there because that's where all the fish was. And then my left hand rod, which you probably can't see, there's a white post down there which is the halfway marker, so sort of around there I'm just shy of that on that bank. But they do come in here. But they've all moved out now, so they do follow the sun. It's cool here now, so I'm guessing they've moved over that what side. But it's looking okay, it's looking good. I might change the spot tomorrow, we'll see. Right, that'll do, because I want to get something to eat. But, excuse me, and I shall catch you later. Bye for now. Afternoon. Well, there'll be not a lot happening, but I'm not the only one. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of us on now, and no one's had a bite. So we don't know what's going on. Are they getting ready to spawn? Have they had a good feed this last weekend? And when it's been full as well, and there's been lots of bait going in? We don't know. I think I had a pick up this morning. It was a weird one, I'm not sure. Because it was like a drop back. It only beat once, it went slightly up, then beat, 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 dropped back. But it, like we drop back, it goes up and dropped back to where it started, then it just dropped back lower. So I don't know, it picked up, turned, come towards me and spat it. That's what I'm thinking happened. But there you go. I'm saying nothing has been out. It's a bit better though, it's still warm. It's warm here, I sat out the front in the sun and now it's cloudy now, so it's intermittent cloud and sun. You know what I mean? It's sun's out for five minutes and it's in for ten and it's out and in. And there's a bit of a ripple on the water. So I can't really see a lot. I was up at half four this morning and I was watching the water and the ones I see sticking their heads out was right to my left on that bank between Windy and Reedy. Two pegs, I have fish. Reed, Windy was the first peg I've ever fished when I come on here and I've never fished it since. So if you look back to my first syndicate blog, you see Windy. Reedy, I've fished two or three times. Well, they were showing between them two on that far bank, so they might have pushed off this bank now. But like I say, yesterday when I got it, there was about 30 fish in front of me. Now I can't see, because of the chop on the water. There is some here because I've seen a bit of swirling, but not, not as many as yesterday. And they're not as high up in the water. They're a bit lower in the water, so you, you can't see them. But I do see the odd swirl when they're turning. So I shall turn you around in a minute and show you the lake, because I've got nothing to tell you, really. And I've got a coffee. And I'm going to do something to eat in a minute. I'll say it's half four now. I mean half four now. I was up at half four. It's half two now. And besides that, what I want to show about this morning, that's it. Nothing through the night. No beeps, no nothing. Talk to the guy who was in John's bar. He didn't have a beep either, because he left this morning for work early. Like I say, the peg opposite me has been doing the majority of the fish. The point. Yeah, I don't. But it has been really warm these last two days. It's warm today, it must be in the 20s and it was hot yesterday, so... 
I might put them off in the day, but you still think they'd feed on the night. Like I say, unless they've had the fill, these last four or five days with it being full all the time, loads of bait going in, they might have had the fill. Or they're thinking about spawning. And they're not bothered about feeding now, they're bothered about finding the females and following the females around. But that group I see yesterday, they was trying to feed. Because it's like, it looks like it's snowing outside, there's those that blossom coming out of the trees on the back. And there was some of that on the water yesterday. And I was watching them then in front of me and some of them was coming up and going for it to have a mouth it and eat it. So they was looking for something to eat, they was interested in food. But yeah, I shall turn you around and show you the lake. And then I'll probably do another update. I might do one tonight. If I have a fish, maybe. Fingers crossed. I'll be able to tell you if someone else has had one. But if no one's had one by tonight, I mean, that's the first 24 hours, not one fish out. But I've got two days left. Because at the minute we're restricted to 72 hours for this week. On the next couple of weeks, just because there'll be still people off work or fair line. So it's to give everyone a chance to get on. Otherwise you're going to have people coming on and doing a week, couldn't you? You could tie two or three pegs up for a week. Then there'll be other people who work and on the days off won't be able to get on. But I'll stop waffling and I shall turn you around and show you the lake. Just wait a minute. Right, there's the lake. I don't know if you can see all that blossom stuff. Say it looks like it's snowing. But it ain't, I'm going to show you that. It's too warm. Rich over there with his wheelbarrow, I don't know what he's doing, doing some maintenance around the lake. But like I say, it was all this margin, what the fish was coming off at the opposite end of me, most of them. And now they seem to be over. You can't see all, but over that side on that margin. So we don't rightly know. But I'm saying there's plenty of food going in, plenty of bait going in, because everyone's putting bait out. Oh, just see one top then over the other side. I don't know if you caught that. And again. Oh, I've seen some action over in that area, but over halfway. Some just boshed out twice. But yeah, I shall leave it there. Cause I'm not going to do one of them blanking the blanks. What's like an hour long? Like I say, I've still got two days left. Well. 48 hours, probably less now. Probably about 40 hours. Got tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow night, and I'll be leaving about dinner time. Day is it today? Tuesday. So Tuesday, when dinner time, Thursday. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? And see if we've got any news on work, because last week the manager contacted us and said that they'd have some news for us on Monday. I haven't heard anything. So our works are just waiting for the government to release more lifting rules, aren't they, slightly? But doing it day by day, so they're still waiting for the government to say. Whatever they're waiting for the government to say. Anyway, I shall get off. I know I have my coffee, I'm going to do a couple of burgers. Still got two steaks in my bag. So I'll cut off. Dilemma Nix, shall I have a steak tonight? And save one for tomorrow night? Or should I be greedy and have both steaks tonight? Have my burgers now. Steaks tomorrow, tonight. Oh, I could save me steaks for tomorrow, but I've got a big pack of bacon now. I've got 18 rashes of bacon. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know. I'll get off anyway, like I said, because my coffee to coffee started up again, hasn't it? Because I'm talking and getting a dry throat. And to catch you all later. Bye for now and keep watching, you never know. 
You might see a fish. Don't think it'd be in my swim, but you might see one of someone else's. Catch you in a bit. Hello, morning. Bonjour. All that bollocks. Well, still no fish, but I had a pickup this morning. It was a coot. So, nothing's happened on this bank. It's not in the middle, is it? I'm always worried of them in the middle, aren't I? Don't know why. Yes, yeah, so, and uh, the lad in Windy, to my left, the last peg on that bank, which I fished in my first ever blog on here and I've never fished it since. He had one. He didn't put no weight on. I see the picture, but he didn't put the weight. Probably a 19, high double. And then the deep, which is the last peg opposite me in that corner, till I left again. So they all seem to be down that left side and over that side. He had a 12 pounder. And then last night, I don't know what time it was dark, so probably about half ten and that. He had a forty pound and five ounce. So well done that man. A fish called Olivia. And that's what I say, it was only three or four days ago. Francesca, that was the name I couldn't say before come out. And that come out from that same area, that corner. And that was forty four. And I think Scrappy Doo come out of the point which is opposite me. So that side again at thirty eight. That was last week. So they all seem to be over that side or down there. But obviously when I got here, that side was full. Because as soon as people get here, they want to be on the south bank. That's where they're coming out from. So I'm on the north bank and not a touch. Oh, the point last night. He upped one as well, but lost it. I think he got him snagged in that overhanging bush. Of course, I went out in the boat. They've got his rig and everything back, but no fish. So there's the odd one coming out. So that's why you're saying that. In the last 48 hours, three fish have been out. Two of them was mid doubles and 140. That's on the last 48 hours. So it's not fishing great, but it's they are still coming out. <laughs> but I'm just on the wrong side. Even though, like I said, when I got here, there was a big group in front of me that was all down here, but I haven't seen them since. I didn't see them yesterday. They didn't come like, over here. It's probably because the lines are in the water now. When I got here yesterday, obviously no lines in the water, so... And that side was full, and there was no lines in the water this side, so they probably, that pushed them this way. It was all sat here. But now I don't know I'm here, don't they? And there's a lad in the peg next to me, then there's a lad in the peg next to him, so this half of this bank, there's lines, so they'll probably move right into that other top corner. But I've got one more day. And then we've got like a conference call from work tomorrow night. So we'll find out what's going on when we're going back to work. Yeah, so that's all I've got to report. What I do, I'll turn it round and show you the lake. Nice blue skies. It's not going to be as warm today, they reckon. Going to be between 18 and 20 today. Still warm enough. And rebated this morning. I was going to rebate, I was up late this morning, about half five before I got up. I've got a cock, I've still got my coffee. But I didn't bait, I was going to bait like they bait in the morning and bait at night, but I thought no. I'm going to leave it and I'm going to bait probably about 11 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock and then just leave, then they're going to stay out in the morning when I go. So I'm probably going to bring them in about 10. Go and use the facilities, have a freshen up and everything. Come back, get the rods back out. And then they should stay out until I pack up in the morning. So like that, I'll just flip you around, but nothing to report from this bank. Wait one and I'll do it. flip you around and show you the lake. 
Right, there's the lake in all its glory. I'd say the sun's coming up now, it'll be over them, where it is over the trees on this side. It'll be on me soon, so I'll be sat out there topping my tan up. It looks like I've been abroad for a couple of weeks. But yeah, let me get a pointy stick. Pointy stick, my spoon. Yeah, so the, f the peg what digged the fish. It's the last bag over there, the deep. That's what did the 40 last night. And then I think it was a weekend when Francesca come out. I think it was that peg. So that peg did it then and then... So that was 44 from there and then a 40 from there last night. And then that bank down here, the, the last peg on this bank, which is windy, which I have fished before. It was my first flog off here last year. That was in windy. He had a mid-double as well. And the point, what was doing all the fish last week, who lost one last night, that's basically the peg straight in front of me. That's the peg. Got to get this right, and I wait. Here we are. There. He lost one last night. Like I say, I've got, what time is it now? 7 o'clock now, so I've got just over 24 hours. There's still a chance, you never know, they might move this way today. And they might not. They might start spawning. They might move over the other side, who knows. It's fishing. That's what keeps us guessing. Well, it's only me, that's what I mean, it's June now, and it? it's only my second session this year. So I don't count the session last week on stables because obviously it won't. by the time I got the rods out they'd only been out I don't know about 12 hours less than 12 hours before they started spawning so I don't count that session right I'll end it there because I'm going to finish my coffee watch the water a bit just see if I get any clues where they might be over this end like I say then, I bring the rods in about 10. Go and freshen up at the lodge and get them back out. Then they'll be staying out, so it'll be about 11, half 11, I get them back out. Then I'll stay out till the morning when I leave. I'll be leaving about 9, 10 in the morning, I should think. Right. I haven't got out to say, so I'll end it there and I shall catch you later with a little update later on, let you know what's going on. So, bye for now. Hello. Well, I know it's happening, it's been one of them head banging days for me. I think centre stage right, which is the peg next to the guy who had the 40 last night, peg next to him, he had a 25 this morning. No one else had that out. So there's ten of us on, and there's only three pegs that have done fish. Windy's had one, the bay's had two, and centre stage, I mean, snagged right, has had one. So four fish in over 48 hours and just from three pegs. But I think the guy in the point lost another one this morning. Is that does me head in like you know, it always looks wonky. When I'm getting a tan. But yeah, really doing me head in today. There was lows down here, the wind's changed. I, I might take you outside in a minute or I'll turn it around and show you. But the wind's changed and it's blowing in this side now. And the one I had down this margin, what I showed you, just shy of halfway down on this side, there was a fish boshing right over my baited spot for. I don't know, two hours on and off. I thought you're taking the mic now. Just let me know that, probably let me know that it had all the freebies and it was saying you're going to put some more out because I ain't taking you up, mate. And then a bit closer in, where there's another tree sticking out, another one, another one started boshing there as it was the same one, he moved a bit closer so to make sure I'd seen him. 
So now, the one I had sort of not that far out to me left, I've got two on that bank now. So I've got one on the spot I was baiting where the fish was topping and the second place it was topping quite a bit up. I think it was a different fish. I've got some bait on there now, just for the last night. I've got to try some, haven't I? So I've got two on that far bank on the tree line. One straight out in front about halfway. And we'll see what tonight brings. But yeah, everybody's struggling except for them three bags. But they're struggling now. I'll say the guy in Windy, he got here yesterday, didn't he? And I think he had that within 10, 15 minutes, putting his rods out. And he had had out since. The guy in the bay who's had the two, including the 40, he's had nothing today. Like I say, right hand snag. I think, did he have one? Did he have his this morning? Yeah, I think he had his this morning, no out since. The guy what was in left hand snag's now left, but I don't think he had out. The guy in the point, I don't think he's had out. The guy, I mean, the guy in the royal box, and I'd had an oath, I don't think. Guy in the points lost to. Now, I say he didn't come onto this bank, there's me, I had out. Guy next to me, I had out. Guy next to him, I had out. And the guy in Reedy, I had out. But there's been plenty showing today, they've all been sticking their heads out, they've been really active today. Probably more shows today than I've seen over the two, three days I've been here. So there's always tonight. They've been active to the bay, they've been swimming about, they've been boshing, so... Have they been feeding and boshing the cleaner gills? Or do they just like jumping out when it's nice and warm? But they're having a bit of fun, aren't they? Playing. Before they start spawning. We don't know. But it's a bit more overcast now, it's cooler now. Saying as the wind's coming into my corner. So I'm hoping it pushes some fish over this side. I might say that they've been over here. It was a bit like the first day when I got here. Like I said, there was about 30 fish in front of me. Then yesterday I didn't see hardly any in front of me. Today they come back. There was loads cruising about in front of me. To my left there was a group down there, sat there sunning. Like I say, then there was them two boshing to my right down that tree line. So I'll be having my coffee as soon as it's gone, I'm going to have my beers to drown my sorrows. There you go. I would feel bad if, like, if everyone was catching, and I wasn't, but the majority aren't catching. Like I say, out of the ten of us, there's only three caught. So there's seven blankers, just like me. So I ain't on my own. It's just one of them, isn't it? I should turn you around and show you the lake. Not like you're going to see a lot, man. You see the chopping water, you see how the conditions have changed. It's definitely more overcast now. But I should stop off it. I'll turn it around. Just wait. All right, there you go. There's the lake. And like I say, today, before I've been down this tree line. That's where they've been boshing, so I've got two baits down there now. I've got one about halfway out, it's dark on my camera, I can't really tell, it's about there I've got one. Where's a white post, you might pick it up on the film, but I can't see it on the camera. Then the other one's probably about here, on that tree line, about there. Then my third rod, just straight out in front, and about halfway. Went out of focus then, didn't it? So like I say, still got tonight. And then we've got like a conference call tomorrow from work, so I find out what's going on with work. When I'm back, I'm, are we back next week? Are we going to be back next month? No more after this call tomorrow what we've got. Talking to Rich today, the owner, because I think some have already spawned. Because in the margins, there's loads of tadpoles, but when I sat outside today, I was obviously watched, looking in the margins. And there's a lot of fry in the margins. So I think some of them probably already had a go. Like last year, no one noticed. Because the water level is down and they couldn't get in the margins. I think they just 
went out in the middle and spawned. And that's on no one see, because it's fairly deep, it's averaging about 12 foot. No one see them. And I think some of them this year has probably done the same again, even though they can get in the margins now, they've probably just gone out in the middle again like they did last year and had a go. Because there's definitely fry in the margins, quite a bit of fry. So I think some have already spawned and no one's noticed. So what Rich is thinking of doing, I don't know if he will or not, when he came round today with his kids, is uh, he said he might not shut it if they start showing signs, he might just like rope off the pegs where they're, where they're having a go. So everyone keeps away from that area. Because I'm thinking he's just doing it to be fear really, because he knows most of us, because of this corona, we haven't been able to fish up to now. When was the first time was loud out? May, wasn't it? Middle of May. So we've lost half the year. So I think Rich being like, being the gent he is, he's said sort of thing. What he, that's what he might do. Because it, I don't know about the fry in the margin, that he, probably, he thinks the same, some might have already spawned. But if they do start, they ever start and they start in the reeds or in the margins where you can see them, obviously I've seen them having a go, he'll rope them swims off. Because there's still a lot of fish in here, probably what I've already spawned, so you can still fish for them. But just keep away from the ones what are spawning. I know some might agree with that, some might not agree with that, but I know other fisheries do it, don't they? Some of the other big fisheries, they were just cordoning off the part of the lake where they're spawning. Some lakes don't even shut when they're spawning, do they? Then others have shut for a month, then some shut for a week, so it's, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's up to the lake owner, isn't it? And they know more about the fish than we do, I'm guessing they're their fish, aren't they? So they ain't gonna, they're not going to do it, what I think might you know, endanger them, harm them in any way. I'm having a little rant now, not really. I'm gonna, I want to drink my coffee, like I say, as soon as I've got rid of this, I can start my beer. It's quarter to six. I want to be off for about... Well, I've got to be off for 12, because that's a 72 hours up. I'll probably be off about... 10 man, I always say that, don't I? And I get up early. And I have a coffee and I sit here watching the water and I don't get out done, I just sit here watching the water. Get like in a trance. Hypnotise myself watching the water. But I'll definitely have gone by 12, but oh, yeah, about 10, 11 o'clock. If I'm up early and I start packing, so I'm right near where the pickup point is, I'm next to it. If I ain't got to move my gear far, I'm, I'm just walk it there. It's like that tree line to my left, that's it, that's the road. So that's where I drive down and I stop level where, me, where I am now. That's where my drop off point is, a pick up point is. That's where I've dropped me, move my gear to and pick it up. It's not far. Right, I'm going to get off and I will do a little one in the morning and do my little blankety blank song. Well, like I say, I'm not the only one. No, actually, what I might do, I, I might take you outside. Just wait one. Right, there you go, we're outside. Oh, I was going to show you there. Yeah, that tree line behind me, that's, I've got two rods on that now, so I'm fishing that. And one out straight to the middle. And if you look over my shoulder now, that corner, that, that side's where they've been coming from. Say in the morning, I ain't got to move my gear far. So obviously, this is where I am. And there's a pickup point. That, that's not a bad thing. So I might be packed up earlier than I normally am, because I ain't got to cart my gear far. So you look down there, all the pegs are full. One next to me is and one next to that. I'll just flip it round so you can see a bit more of the lake. Then I'll end it. Whoa! Wait one, I'm going to turn it round. Yeah, there you go. 
where I am. You can see there's a bit more chop on the water today. We've got a bit more cloud cover. Trying to see if you can see on here where that. Let's have a look. Oh! Like I say, just shout, I've got two up down here. I've got one. It's about there. Then the other one's further down, about there. But there's a white post not far off that, then the other one's where that light bit. No further down than that. Oh, I don't know. It's hard when you're looking at the phone, it looks darker than what it does when you're looking at it on a screen, you know, the bigger screen. So I can't really see. Like I say, the two fish what come out, I showed you it this morning, didn't I? What well, the other guy what caught this morning was in. Here's my finger. I don't know what I'm doing here. In that one, where that gap is. He had one this morning. Like I say, in Windy, there's Reedy. That was where the reeds are. Yeah, I don't. Then Windy's there. That was the first peg I ever fished. There. Well, that's it, traps are all set. They're ready to go. Whoa. Seen on that level. Is that better? That'll do. Well, I am going to end it here. You've seen the lake. He's putting his baits out there. There's his boat. And I shall catch you in the morning, hopefully, with a fish. If not, it'll just be me waffling again. Catch you all later. Morning. Well, another quiet night. But the two rods I put down this bank, I was getting loads of liners. Most of the night I've had a couple of liners this morning as well. So there's still fish about. It's like 10 to 7 now. Been up since about half five, started packing stuff away. Got a couple of bits up to the uh, drop off point. The rods will be coming in about nine o'clock, I should think. The guy in point who lost to, I don't know if he had one last night. Because about half ten, it's eleven o'clock, I sort of tried to get my head down. And I think about quarter to twelve, I sort of lock up, locked out, and he had his head torch on. So I thought, uh, is he playing one or not? But he wasn't what he was doing, was redoing his bait boat, then he sent his bait boat back out. So I don't know if he'd had one. Obviously landed it and then rebaited or lost another one and rebaited, I don't know. Because there's been nothing put on the Facebook page, so as of now, I don't know, he might have had one. Or he might have lost another, I don't know. But yeah. It's really overcast today. It's, it's always the same, isn't it? The day you're packing up to go home, it looks spot on for it. It's cold, mate. It's going to be warm again today, isn't it? And this cloud might clear, and then maybe it won't be spot on for it. But yeah, I don't think anybody else had a, I didn't see any other lights on or anything last night. So I'll flip you around, show you the lake, and then I'm going to start packing the rest of the gear. And if I do have out for a leave, I will get a photo, and I'll stick it on. Oh, it could be another blankety blank. Like I say, this year, it's only me second session on here, this year. Coming up to June, aren't we? That's two blanks so far, but... 
I remember last year when I come on here, it was, I did four sessions and I caught on my fifth, I think. Then I blanked again, then I caught again, so who knows. But I shall flip you around, show you the lake, then I can have a puff on my vape, can't I? Oh, yeah, we're moaning, vaping. Ha ha ha. So, white one. There you go, there's the lake. As you can see, it's a lot more overcast. The sun is trying to break through. See in front of me, there's a lot of that blossom and stuff on the water, so that's all going to be sticking on my lines. But it is what it is. Last night, I was topping out as well, down that margin where I repositioned my rods. I was topping out there most of the night. Well, till I fell asleep, which after watching him put his boat out again, it's probably half, half midnight. And I slept through then till I got up about half five. But I haven't seen anything this morning sticking its head out. Seen a couple of little swirls, but it's a bit early at yesterday morning, it was probably later on, eight ish, half eight, the side showing a bit. But like I say, that's it for this one. When I'm out next, I don't know. Because I'm owed 24 hours on stables, because I was on there last week when I'm after my first night, they started spawning, so they sort of owe me a day. A day and a half, really, but a day will do, so next time I go in there, I can do 48 hours and it only cost me 20 quid. But that's not open till the 8th of June, so that's a week on Monday coming, isn't it? And I don't know if I'm back at work or not then, or if I'll be able to get on because there's other people that have booked on after me for that weekend who are paid, so they're out time as well, so I've got to try and get them on. And next week on here, I think they're going to be spawning. I would think, so if they're not, I might, I might get out again Monday. Thursday now, so I'll get home today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday home, get out Monday, three nights, if I'm not back at work. But then no my luck, I'll get back on here and it, they'll be spawning on here. But like I say, it depends what Rich is doing, if it's just, because I think some of us already spawn, judging by the fry in the margins, if it's just going to rope off the area that the rest are spawning, what well, haven't already spawned. We shall see. Right, I'm going to get off because there's not really a lot to tell you. And thanks for watching, and I promise there will be some fish coming. I do get one now and again, but like I say, this is like true to life sort of thing. We all blank. This is how it is, cat fishing, isn't it? You don't catch every time. I suppose you can if you're eating runs waters, but obviously this isn't a runs water. It's not easy. Stables isn't a runs water. That's not easy, but it's easier than here. Because like I said before, it's smaller. It's less than half the size that isn't about the same amount of fishing, so you've got more chance of being near and catching them. Right, I'm waffling, so I shall get off, and I'll show you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a sub and a like. I'm trying to get my subs up now, then I'm going to start doing a few lives from the bank. But I shall catch you all later. Thanks again. Bye.